happy, happy day to you, friends. 24 hours ago, almost to the dot, um, I bought plane tickets for James and I to fly to New York City. So we have to leave in like 20 minutes. I'm really, really excited. As you can tell, I'm very hype. I don't even have socks or shoes on. <laughs> We're kind of running around. James is on the phone and also washing dishes. We're very much multitasking, but I'm so stoked. It's going to be a 48 hour or 36 hour or some kind of whatever hour excursion and we are going to take you guys along on the journey. Shelby decided to take us to the airport. Thanks, Shelby. We always appreciate your help. We love you so dearly. Life wouldn't be the same without you. Hey, Let's go. I think that's enough compliments. Let's go on a plane. Oh yeah, Christina. Yeah? Let's not leave our laptops at the airport again. Yeah, let's not. in the York of New. We are in a quiet spot at the airport. This is unheard of. This is silent. I'm exhausted. Yeah, it was, well, so far we're running on about 20 hours of no sleep, 23, 21, 20, 19. <laughs> Oh boy. Jesus Christ. Uh, well that just got her back. Okay. Well, I thought this trip just got real interesting. There you go. <laughs> Man almost lost his arm and I almost lost my wife. Just, just hanging out right there. Just like that. Yeah. I can't process this right now. So we just finished up with a little bit of productivity. Now we're going to head to a special place. Back to the subway. That's it. No, it's not. It's the wrong one. That's definitely it. Okay, here we are. This is where a guy named Casey Neistat does his work, and also where our friends John Hill and Sarah Dietschy do their work. And that was a bus. Someone opened a door to the building and we walked in. I hear feet coming downstairs. And so uh, now we're in the bottom floor of the building. We can't get the elevator to work without a code, I think. And the stairway does not have a doorknob on it. So Christina went outside to scope out the area. Look who it is! How are thou? What's up? Was yeah. that a note for us? We, we kind of we kind of broke into this spot. Sorry, doggy. How did you guys get in here? Good to see you, man. Uh, yeah, some, somebody opened the door and we just walked in because we were really cold. Oh, okay. So I feel that. Yeah, Sorry, you know. I missed your call. I yeah. was busy um, just taking a nap, hanging out. You know. That's okay. Yeah. Not really worrying about anything. It happens. You know. All right, we walk in. Uh, it's pretty dirty. I'm not gonna lie. That's okay. It kind of always. Quite dirty. all right. It's warm. Don't think I've ever That's all that matters. It's very warm. It smells like Play-Doh in here. Oh, it does. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Upchi? Yeah. It's like Updog. I don't know what, wait. I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? Yeah, you should ask him. I'm confused. I should be getting this joke by now. No, you shouldn't. If you haven't heard the joke, there's no way you would get it. Uh, ask him what it is. Nice. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Such an intellectual. Hi, 
something interesting about you, yes, or me, well, me remembering how to spell your last name. Because I find myself having to spell your yeah. last name for some reason. Diet? Yes. S-C-H-Y. Diet Chai. I want to put a Z in your name. That's why. <laughs> being really deliberate with the relationships that I choose to cultivate and like the older you get the less time you have and it's just about being really specific about who you're friends with and who you want to be friends with and that doesn't mean like oh if this person like isn't successful like don't be friends with them it's just like when you spend time with them how do you feel are you fulfilled are you happy like do you feel like you got something done like even if they're not you know, someone you can collaborate with or like grow your audience with, like, do you, do you still have like a valuable time being with them? And that's been really important to me, especially in the artistic community. Mainly I met everyone in New York through Instagram, like everyone that I'm really close with here who makes the same kind of art as me and who shares the same values I met through Instagram and actually through like an Instagram DM friend that I got added to that was like art girls, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is awesome. so what Instagram DM friend do you need? start today. Yeah, or like even with people you already know and like I think it, we forget to kind of think about who's already around us. Amazing. Next question. Christina. James. Has the day caught up with you as of yet? I'm running on energy. Right now. Yeah. If I sit down, I will fall asleep. It is absolutely pure adrenaline. We were <laughs> we were dead on on that prediction. Yes. The sounds of New York. So both me and well, all of us people are heading to the same spot, which is another event. It's a big day of events. But I split off with the men because of testosterone. Lots of testicles happening here. All, all of them. At least 30 in this general vicinity. In this genital vicinity? <laughs> <laughs> you, you think the girls have as good jokes as ours? I I do we broke off. Then they went one way, and we went this way. I don't know what's happening at all. I'm standing in John and Sarah's office. It's quiet. This is the first quiet I've experienced in 24 hours, at least. It's nice. However, it's a busy day. I'm told by John that this is not the normal day in New York. It's not quite this hype. It's been fantastic. It's been amazing. I feel as if I need to sort of come together with you guys. That's how crazy this day has been. So I'm just talking to you to kind of recapitulate everything. It's been such a wonderful experience here in New York. My brain is still overloaded by just the sheer awesomeness of the city and, and the, the people here. It is an absolute electric, magical experience. I just had some food. I had a rice bowl with crispy chicken from one of John's favorite spots here in New York. And it was fantastic. And then I ate some slices of pizza. Weird combination. I'm not here to, to do anything other than change the world. And you know what? To change the world, sometimes you gotta mix things that don't make sense. It is the next day. I don't think I've said anything to you guys all day yesterday, but to give an update as to what I was up to, I was actually following Sarah around. We're in their office, by the way, I don't know. Documenting her day. She was doing a couple different things. I don't know how she is at like 150% all the time, but we came back to the apartment. This was our bed and this bed housed the greatest night of sleep that I received with this guy. Not in a weird way. It was the greatest nights of sleep that I've had literally all week. For whatever reason, I haven't been able to sleep 
whether it's I'm excited about something or my mind is working creatively when it shouldn't be, I have not been able to actually go to sleep a full night. Last night was one of those nights because we were awake for 36 hours. So maybe this means we should move here. James, <laughs> shout out to the futon and shout out to heated blankets and shout out to Progress Daily because these sweats are bomb. So with all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching and coming along this absolutely insane journey to New York City. We've got one more day here and we almost slept through it because we were so tired. Um, but we have, we're, we're going to try to do a lot of things today. That's it for this video. If you guys are new around here, I'm Christina, this is James. We like to travel and create things and do stuff like this, come to New York and have times where we don't sleep. So if that's something that you're into, subscribe below, like the video, do all the YouTube things, but I'm going to get some kind of something done and try not to fall back asleep. Thank you so much for watching, bye.